Hey guys! Okay, so if you've, you should already have seen this outfit, it'll be in my November Ipsy unbagging, which will be up before this video. And this one is the video that I kind of talked about in that one. It's my Sephora haul from the VIB um, sale this weekend. So if you shop at Sephora, you know that nothing goes on sale. They never have any clearance. Well, that's a lie. Sephora brand things, cheaper ones, will go on like, oh, well, here's a basket of $1 goodies or $3 goodies or whatever. Occasionally, you can find that stuff. And then, you know, some stuff, Sephora brand is cheaper-ish. But Sephora never has any 20% offs, 30% offs, 40% offs. They never give out any coupons. They never have any specials like, oh, if you buy one skincare item, you get another one 50% off. It just doesn't happen. Once a year, once a year, um, at the beginning of November for like the first weekend of November, usually for like from, it's typically Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday is how they've done it in the past and how they did it this year. The first one is for VIB Rouge, which is the top membership. That's if you spend $1,000 at Sephora in the calendar year, then you are a VIB Rouge member. And then two weeks later is the VIB um, Insider sale. And that's so that was that's this weekend that's friday saturday sunday monday so the 13th until the 16th um hopefully this video will be up by then but it probably won't be just to let you guys know um but i'm hoping it will and the sale is you get 20 percent off which is huge like huge so excited so I'm going to go through the few things that I went in there for, and then I only got two more things um, that I wasn't planning on, but I had, like, thought about it. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to, we're just going to do this. So, I will show you the first two things that I really wanted. Um, I got the samples of these two. I had gotten samples, like the little sample packets, in um, an online purchase of mine months and months and months ago, and I finally opened them up this past week to use them. And it was a day cream and a night cream, and it was the Sephora brand, and it was like their age-defying collection or whatever. And so I was just like, okay, let's try this out. So I tried out the night cream first. I didn't try out the day cream with it until like a couple days after, but the night cream is just incredible they both are amazing so so I knew that I was for sure going to be getting those today because I really really wanted to get them so this one is the day cream and it is the Sephora total age defy cream with SPF 15 sunscreen more beautiful day after day and then it just says the same thing on the back in French so this is what it looks like it is a huge jar it is 1.69 fluid ounces so that's a lot for a um like a moisturizer so it's in a jar which I don't like I prefer a pump just because it's more sanitary um but it's amazing it smells really good like I wish you could smell it. it's just like a fresh clean moisturizer smell but it's not like it's not like gross smelling but it's like it's just it's really good so I got the day cream and then I got the night cream, and it's the Sephora Age Defy Night Moisture Cream. And it says, like, Sleeping Beauty on it, and it comes in the purple jar. And it's the same thing. It is just, like, a really... It smells so good. It's just a super, like, you can tell it is a thick cream. And I try not to go for thicker creams because I do have oily skin. Um, But, guys, like, this... When I would put it, I would wash my face, do my toner and everything, and then I put this on before I go to bed. And usually when it's a thicker cream like this, I wake up in the morning with, like, an oil slick for a face. Like, it's disgusting. And 
the first night I put it on, it just like soaked into my skin, but it's it just was like really creamy and rich feeling, and it made my skin feel so soft. And Tyler even noticed he like felt my he was like grabbed my face and he goes, "Oh wow, your skin's really soft." And then he had commented on the smell because usually he doesn't like the smell of my skincare products, and he's like, "Oh, that actually smells good." Like, yeah, it does. I woke up in the morning and my skin was not oily like at all like it had a little bit of oil like natural oils that it's obviously going to produce overnight but usually when I wake up in the morning like if I don't wash my face right away like it just feels disgusting like it's just so oily like I'll go to like rub my nose and my nose will like or my hand will like slip across my face because of how oily my face is and it was like hardly even oily at all like it was oily on my forehead that's pretty much it and it was barely oily so that was a huge deal, especially with how thick of a night cream this is. I'm so excited to put this into my daily routine. I decided to get the Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to brighten and depuff. It's in this box. So I decided to get it and it's in like this little orange jar and it smelled like it's ginseng. But it really doesn't smell as bad as I thought it was going to because I've had, um, like I got a mask from Sephora once, like one of their masks, and it was a ginseng mask and I opened up the package to put it on my face and I hated the way it smelled, so I just threw it away. I didn't even use that one. So I was kind of nervous to get this, but it really doesn't smell that bad. Like it smells really good. I'm really excited to try this out and see how that works for me. And this is $30 as well. And then the other, two, so those were the three things that I wanted to get today. And then these two things were kind of last minute, um, but I've been wanting them again. So the first thing is the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix set, or Mix, Mist and Fix setting spray. It's the little trial size. I have one and it is completely empty. So I got one to replace it. Now I don't use this to set my face because it is sticky and I don't like the way it makes my skin feel and I find that it does not help my makeup stay on longer, but I love it to spray my brush down before I put it in a shimmery shadow to give it more of a metallic finish. And then Glam Glow came out with lip treatments. So it comes in this duo deal right here, which I think is pretty cool. I thought that they came separately but when I found it, I was just like, oh, they come in like a duo. And the lady um, who I was talking with was just like, yeah, um, we thought they, they were going to come separately, but they came like this and we're really excited. So the top one is the Pout Mud Fizzy Lip Exfoliating Treatment Smooth, Energize, and Renew. And the bottom one is the Pout Mud Wet Lip Balm Treatment Hydrate, Soften, and Restore. So basically with the fizzy lip exfoliating treatment, you, it says pucker up, apply liberally and massage onto lips for five to 10 seconds to pre-exfoliate. Gently massage with water to activate the fizzing renewal action. Rinse with warm water, use through two to three times per week. So I'm really excited to try that out tonight. So my mom and I share our beauty insider card and we're like the VIB, like the, the middle one. Um, cause you're a beauty insider, a very important beauty insider, and then the very important beauty insider rouge. So those are the three levels. And we're, we were only like $70 away from becoming rouge members. And I was going to go in spending only like $60 and it, or like, well, no, I was going to be planning on spending $90, not counting the 20% off. So I was just like, oh, this is awesome. I'm going to be a VIB Rouge member. So I got it. I'm a VIB Rouge. So this is, this is the box that they give you because it's freaking bomb. I'm also very excited to be a VIB Rouge. I've been wanting to be for a really long time, so this is awesome. So because I've obtained this status, I will maintain this status, I believe, until the end of 2016, since it's almost the end of 2015. At least I hope that's how it is, because I'm going to be pissed if I just got this and I like can't like take advantage of it for a full year. That's usually how it goes. Um, but I do have to spend... $1,000 to 
in 2016 to be able to maintain the VIB Rouge, which between my mom and myself, mainly myself, but my mom does purchase stuff from there as well. Um, I obviously just purchase a lot from there. <sighs> we'll, do, we'll be able to do that. So I'm planning on filming a tutorial on Tuesday. Um, I'm going to start filming holiday looks. So yeah, just let me know what you want to see. If you want to see a specific smoky eye, if you want to see certain colors, I will be asking on Twitter and on Instagram. So if you don't follow me, I will put the info in my description bar below so you can follow me on all of my social medias and just watch what I'm up to. So yeah, that's it. I love you guys and I will see you next time. Bye.